Okay, you have that email? I do. Okay. Oof. Can you pull that out? I'm sure this isn't easy, so just yeah. share the parts that you're comfortable with. Um, Danielle, I need to speak to you in a calm manner when you're available and ready if you're willing. Johan started messaging me while we were at the retreat. He came to my tent. The first night, he was trying to convince me to leave the property with him to go spend some time together. He wanted me to stay back when I left the retreat because you were going to New York. Again, I said no. After you talked to me and told me not to talk to him anymore, I told him that I couldn't talk to him anymore and he got super mad and told me that I was letting you control me and I was afraid of you. I truly wasn't chasing your husband. I wasn't calling him on FaceTime. He was calling me. I'm truly sorry for the role that I played in this. I never wanted any of this. I don't know, there's a lot. So let me ask you this, Danielle. Are you convinced that this woman and Johan had a physical relationship? Yeah. Yeah, the night that she's describing, he had an English class and he disappeared after the English class. Like he would normally come back to bed and he didn't. I just, I knew something was up. I don't know. Yo hablaba con todas las mujeres ahí de retiro de Daniel. Entonces, no sé qué mujer fue que hizo, que hizo ese comentario de mí. Yo nunca me pasé con ninguna de ellas. Repeté a todita de ella. Uh, yo fui a ese retiro, fue para ayudarte, pues yo en ningún momento, ese, ese no es mi, mi vida de que estaba en retiro, ningún maldito retiro. Pero tú eres una malagradecida. Al diablo se puede ir, mi doña, con sus mentiras. Se va para el diablo. Tú quieres ser malo, yo voy a ser malo contigo. <risa>